I welcome you to our daily Bible study. I am your host, Dr. Derek K. Reeves. Let's dive right into our lesson for today. Today we're going to continue on in the 19th series entitled Living a Meaningful Life. Today's lesson, How to Discover Your Purpose. How to Discover Your Purpose. I want to read the scripture, and we're going to start in the book of Matthew, chapter 25. So let's start with verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. This, when we unpack it, has so much information in it, and that's why we have to deliberately take our time as we delve into the Word of God. And so Jesus begins to reveal specifically how ministry is apportioned to ministers. And again, remember that ministry is the equivalent of purpose. Purpose then will reveal meaning. The meaning is the purpose, and therefore the purpose deals with intent or what you are seeking to do or what you are planning to do. Therefore, when we talk about meaningful life or a life of meaning, then we talk about a life that is filled with purpose. Therefore, there are contingencies and plans and implementation of those plans on how to reach and how to achieve what our purpose in life is and what our meaning is. And so Jesus says, for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. The first thing this man does, he calls his own servants. And so to understand meaning, first of all, you have to come as a doulos. A doulos then is a bondman, someone who literally the term means slave or a servitor, a person that comes to serve, a person who voluntarily serves, and we're speaking of being called or invited by God to serve. And so he says he called his own servants, those that are connected to God. So the very first thing that there must be is a relationship with God. And since we're speaking about believers, we're speaking about believers understanding their meaning, understanding their purpose, and understanding that this purpose is designated by God. And so they have to, first of all, be submitted unto God, who acknowledges them as his own servant. And then the scripture says, he's calling his own servants, and he delivers unto them his goods. And this is very important because a servant then has to receive something. And hear this word, huparkanta, or huparchanta. And so when we look at it, here it means to come into existence, to exist, to be, or subsist, and it deals with to be in possession of something that is given to you, or something that is placed in your hands, and now you possess those things as well as the responsibility of taking care of them. It's very important because here he says he now gives or delivers unto them his own goods. And so unto one, he gives five talents, to the other two talents, and to one, uh, one talent. 
But this is the important thing also. Remember, he delivers into their hands something that they are responsible for, but the deliverance into their hands comes as a result of their several ability. And so he uses the word idios for several, and idios then to mean one's own ability or one's specific ability. And it can also deal with pertaining to self, or that is one's own by implication, private or separate. And so here we find that the ability is made known because there is a private exchange. It indicates then that one seeks God, spends time in the presence of God, and it is God that then reveals the talent and the capacity of the servant to serve in specific areas. And so he delivers them according to their several one's own ability. And he uses the term dunamis here. And the word dunamis can deal with power, the strength and the ability or the efficacy that one operates in. It can deal with the force, miraculous power, uh, usually by indication or implication, a miracle itself. And so it deals with the inherent power and ability. And so again, the individual has to come to the point where they spend time with God privately, seeking and asking questions concerning themselves. Then another aspect is having to look at one and beginning to assess one's personal operational power the individual in discovering purpose has to understand what are the giftings that flow through them? What are the capabilities in specific purposes and specific meanings for life? One has to have really a lot of patience. Some have to have the patience to be able to study or the ability to step beyond fear, the capability of being consistent. See, consistency will enable the believer to put his shoulder to the wheel and to continue in those things. And so sometimes continuance is also a specific and a very, very unique capacity or ability. And so to understand purpose, to understand reason, to understand meaning, again, you go back to see what has God spoken to you about in your past and in your present. As you begin to look at what God has spoken to you about, how has God used you in the past in a consistent way? How is he using you now? If you have not made yourself available, you have to make yourself available. You have to sit down and you have to take an assessment of your life. You have to begin to look at what do you feel? What do you think? What goes through your mind? What is the burden that God has placed upon your heart? The burden that you cannot not do. The burden that weighs you down and it always comes to you. It always speaks to you. And so you have to look at your past, see what God has placed within you, see what God has spoken to you, and then truthfully observe how does God use you through the capacity of your gifts and abilities? How does the power of God move on you to direct you to serve? And so once you understand 
capacity, you understand skill, you understand the rhema that God has spoken to you about, and you should consistently speak to God because meaning and purpose can always extend because God may not show you everything that you are to do in one setting. Sometimes purpose is progressively revealed. Sometimes your meaning is progressively revealed. And as you walk by faith, and as you walk in obedience to God, God begins to reveal more and more and more. We have run out of time. Um, in our next Bible study, we're going to continue on in this vein. I thank you for joining us with our daily Bible study. I am your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves. Don't forget to push the like button, uh, the like button and to also subscribe to our channel. I thank you again. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Till next time.